Hi, welcome back to the third watch. We are still doing the third watch. Amen. It is now, I don't know what time it is, but I know we're in the third watch. I know it's after two o'clock and we are almost there. Amen. We are almost there, people of God. So we're just going to enter into some more deliverance prayers from stronghold sin. That's right. Stronghold sin. So we just want God to identify in our lives, help us to identify the sin in our lives that keeps us in bondage. Amen. There's many a times people come and they ask for deliverance and they get deliverance and they still have a hard time maintaining their deliverance because the stronghold has to be exposed in their life. Amen. And a lot of times that stronghold comes to past events, events that we entered into in our younger days out of ignorance. You know, we didn't know. If you don't know, you don't know. But when you come into the revelation and the knowledge of God, this is when you accept the truth. And the truth is his son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will expose the philosophies of men. He will empty deceptions, prejudice, traditions of men, and principles of the world every day of our lives through friends, relatives, movies, books, (laughs) TV, newspapers, magazine, computers, adverts or advertisements, schools, and people of influence. And a lot of times we don't realize that we are being influenced by everything in our world, social media, media, families, association, conversation, the food that we eat. And they can easily plant strongholds in our lives without us even knowing it. Amen. So we must bring destruction to the enemy's networks. Amen. Because Satan does have a network and the network is disobedience disbelief. I mean, this is the way he holds us captive through our sin. And that's why it's so important that we pray and seek the will of God and not only to seek his will, but to know his will, knowing, having that personal relationship with our father, just knowing him and applying his word and his will to our lives. Amen. Being faithful, just like he is faithful to us. To us. So who has the strongholds? Everyone, including believers and Christians. Everyone. Everyone has a stronghold in their area. And that stronghold begins with our mindset against God and his truth. That's right. Because that's why the word of God tells us in the book of Romans chapter 12. Verse 1 and 2, that we are to present ourselves to God as a living sacrifice. But we are to, verse 2 continues to say, but be not conformed to this world, but be transformed with the renewing of your mind. So we know that when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and as our Savior, these strongholds must be exposed and expelled out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the truth must manifest in every area of our thinking. The truth must manifest against the unrighteousness and righteousness must prevail. God's word must prevail in our lives. Amen. And this way we could divide and conquer Satan's network, divide and conquer his collaborations so he can no longer hold us in captive. Amen to our own unbelief and disobedience. And once again, the sin. The stronghold can't be large in any area of our lives, within any person, amen, but mostly within our soul. And where the soul is being polluted and corrupted, this is where the enemy operates in the flesh. When he operates in the flesh, there is sin, and the soul is now in bondage. And the spirit man is now having war against the flesh because we wrestle not against flesh and blood right but against those demonic powers that works against our mind our intellect our will and our emotions so we have to expose the works of the enemy expose 
Satan, expose the area where he wants to destroy our walk in Christ Jesus, destroy our testimony of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to others. Amen. He wants to make our life and our lives, excuse me, miserable. Amen. And the way he does that is through harassment, by tormenting us. Amen. By causing discord among our family. Amen. And friends, he operates through deception and he will deceive us. If we continue to react or react or respond inappropriately to the things that's happening in our lives, and we're not trusting in God. This is where the enemy gets legal ground. So we have to remove his legal rights by confessing the word of God and repenting, renouncing, breaking those assignments and contracts with the word by the blood of the lamb in the name of Jesus. But this must be done by the power of the Holy Spirit. So you must acknowledge the Holy Spirit to come to help you to be delivered from all powers of the enemy to be delivered from his works amen because you and i we have purpose in jesus christ we have a lot of purpose amen our destiny is locked with him amen so we thank god for his word we thank god for this teaching but we have to remember this we are in the spiritual war so that means we do not wrestle against flesh and blood amen but our battle is with the powers of darkness with the rulers of darkness with the wickedness of this world with the principalities amen we must keep that in mind because a lot of times people that comes for deliverance they start talking about the individual that's attacking them but then i have to go back again and over and over again it's the not the flesh and blood we are wrestling with they are a candidate of Satan's. That's why Satan could use them. But you should not be a candidate. You and I should have the ability to pray for ourselves, if not for ourselves, but for the person who came and attacked us. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you that you are showing us what are the weapons we are to use against the enemy, which is the blood. Amen. Your blood, Jesus Christ's blood, the word, which is our testimony. And that we are to testify your word and declare your word over every situation. And, and allow ourselves to be encouraged with your word through prophecy, through worship. Um, just by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, letting people know what Christ has done for us. Amen. And that we will be delivered from the strongholds that exist in our minds. Amen. That causes us to go astray. That causes our spiritual walk and our physical health to be damaged. So we must come against that demonic power and oppose it. Amen. Oppose the enemy. We have to oppose and we have to pull down those strongholds with the word of God and the blood of Jesus. So take the word and use the word because it's the word that's going to bring you into the place of safety. Amen? Amen. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm beginning to pray for you and intercede for you. For whoever's listening, man of God, women of God, whatever nation or whatever region you're from, hear the word of God because he sends his word and his word will not return unto him void. He will see that his word will perform the very thing he sent his word to do. So you have to understand God's word is powerful. There is no witchcraft and nothing can supersede the power of the most high living God, Jehovah God. Amen. So you always remember that no matter the hardship, you serve a God that is bigger than that. But you must pray and fast, and believe, and you shall receive, in the name of Jesus Christ, so begin to say the following, say it with me, and I'm going, and start praying for you, say, I bind every evil spirit in me, and command them to unlink themselves, 
command the strong men to unlink themselves and not to render help to each other or call out to each other. No communication with each other. And we command them all to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. And we command every evil spirit, spirit of oppression, opposition, condemnation, compromise, egotism, intellectualism, self-love, false compassion, false humility, insecurity, inferiority, low self-esteem, pride, spirits that make you or I brag, mockery, judging, accusations, false prophet, false witness, sexual perversion, masturbation, lust, fantasy, lust, immorality, fantasy, lust, immorality, curse of the bastard, gigolo, anger, fear, materialism, rejection, rebellion, confusion, addiction, sorcery, rage, sickness, spirits of infirmity, mental illness. I command these evil spirits to come out. There you go. Breathe them out in your nose and out your mouth. Just breathe them out and say amen and say, I command these evil spirits to come out and all kindred spirits to leave me now in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, I pray whoever hears the sound of my voice, that it will come into a corporate agreement with me, that they will agree that these evil spirits, these demonic unclean spirits, the fallen angels, will lead them now as they take a deep breath and blow out and go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus. I command all of these spirits out of you now. All unclean spirits, go to the dry places where Jesus sends you. And I pray that you will be filled in every area where these demon spirits has vacate with the Holy Spirit. You'll be filled with the Holy Spirit where these demons has vacated. And you will maintain your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command discontent, lying to self, cover up lies, cringing fear, fear of failure, Dishonor to self, dishonor of others, foolish, futility, reasoning, foolish reasoning, false speculations, false assumptions. And one thing about me, even though I'm doing this deliverance, I do not like speculations. I don't like assumptions because it opens the door to lying. So if you have speculations, false speculations or false assumptions or stupid speculations command them to come out now command all these unclean spirits to go and leave you now in the name of jesus senseless mind foolishness lack of knowledge lack of wisdom sexual idolatry watching uh pornography looking at uh dirty um magazines or online pornography whatever the situation is you need to command this sexual idolatry to go even self-sex that's idolatry loving yourself and and using uh certain objects to stimulate yourself that is sexual idolatry even the way you dress and the way you look you could be promoting sexual idolatry command it to go commanding purity homosexuality bisexuality lesbianism indecency Incest, loathsomeness, unrighteousness, iniquity, guilt, covetousness. Command them all to come out of you now. All these stronghold spirits leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit go in the name of Jesus Christ. Grasping, greed, malice, envy, jealousy, murder, strife, deceit, treachery ill will, cruel ways, backbiting, gossiping. I command these evil spirits to go and all its kindred spirits to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep breath and blow out and go in Jesus' name. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all these unclean spirits to leave whoever hears the sound of my voice to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
And I pray that they will have their portion. I pray that they will have their peace. I pray that they will no longer slander, no longer hate on God. I pray that they will no longer operate out of insolence and arrogance, boasting, inventor of evil, rebellion against parents, having no understanding, without conscience, faithlessness, heartlessness, loneliness, merciless, fantasy, poverty in soul, poverty in spirit, poverty in the body, poverty in pocketbook, amen, in your purse, amen, in your wallet, amen, poverty, want, lack, insufficiency, rationalization, murmuring, and complaining, pride, scoffer, scoffer, arrogant, ungrateful, boasters, bragging, unholy, profane, callous, inhumane, hard-hearted, hard-hearted, restless, rentless, unforgiving, lacking natural affections, troublemaker, false accuser, loose morals, fierce, hater of good, treacherous, betrayer, disloyalty, rashness, hypocrisy, vain amusements, vain imaginations, ingratitude. I command these evil spirits to come out in the name of Jesus and all kindred spirits to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep breath and blow them out in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray now that God of the Most High, the God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he is his Father. I pray now that you will take a deep breath and blow out all these unclean spirits. Let them be expelled, and I command them all to go to the dry places in the name of Jesus and never to re-enter again. There you go. And I pray for the infilling of the Holy Spirit to go where the where these unclean spirits has vacate, and that you will remain filled with the presence of God, because you cannot serve two gods. Amen? You cannot serve two gods. You cannot expect to serve Jehovah God and another God and be filled with the Holy Spirit. You must make room for the Spirit of God so he can help you and continue to help you to pull down those strongholds, to cast down every evil imagination in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So be filled with the Holy Spirit. May the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. May there be peace, joy, healing, and restoration for you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we bless the name of the Lord. And we thank him for this hour. We thank him for the third watch because every activity that was assigned to you is now counseled. There you go. It's already been canceled. Every assignment's been canceled. Every contract, every boardroom meeting the enemy was having, they have been scattered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not prosper. Their weapons will not prosper. The gates of hell shall not prevail because you are free. Your household is free. And you shall remain free with fasting, with prayer, with the word of God, with fellowship. Amen. And speaking God's word daily and often into your life. Amen. And being obedient. It's better to be obedient than to sacrifice. And then offer up to God a praise or worship. A sacrifice of praise and worship. Honor him with thanksgiving. Honor him. Amen. Present yourself as a living sacrifice unto Abba Father and honor him and bless his name and worship him in spirit and in truth. So, Father God, I thank you for this third watch. I thank you that your daughter, your sons, every one of them are being healed and delivered. These strongholds will never take place in their lives again. And if they do, I pray they will have the strength to renounce it, reject it, fall out of agreement with it, and repent and turn from their wicked ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God, we thank you for this third watch. We thank you for the power of the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, as we enter into worship. (laughs) Yea, God, that you will fill our cup up until it runneth over, Father God. Fill us up, Lord, until we want no more. Because you are the God who heals. Amen. Yea, God, you are the Lord of our salvation. You are the God who brings us out of darkness into the light. 
And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jehovah is your name. Your name, God. 